Hi there, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today we're answering a question in the down bar of Colleen Answers Questions episode 49. It comes from Leo Contreras and he has asked quite a few questions in this series. He always asks really good questions. And uh, let's see, he says, Colleen, I practice at the range about 30 feet from my target. 30 feet is the longest distance in my house from a certain point to my front door, shorter to my back door. My question is, should I practice at different distances inside of 30 feet, or am I wrong in thinking that practicing at 30 feet will take care of the rest? Thank you and God bless. I will say that generally, if you shoot accurately at a far distance, then you're only going to be better at a short distance. I think there's certainly validity to that statement. However, I think that it can also be beneficial to do close range exercises simply because uh, a lot of times attacks happen and they're already up on you before you know anything's going to happen because they've been scoping you out prior. So this would be more applicable to an attack that could happen outside of your home. Generally, you're pretty watchful of your home and you would hear someone tampering with an entrance and you could be ready to basically <laughs> take care of things when they're coming in the door in a lot of cases. But let's say someone attacked you out in the real world. What if they were already up on you? What if by the time you were ready to draw your handgun, they already had their hands on you? So for this reason, I think there is some benefit to practicing with close range exercises, especially things like, um, we do exercises, well I do exercises with students sometimes where they, you know, they're in physical contact. So pressing the muzzle in and backing off a little bit to give the gun room to function. Like if you were to press the muzzle of your gun, if you carry a semi-automatic, into someone and press the trigger, you would get one shot and then you wouldn't cycle, you'd be jammed. So getting close up to your target sometimes can be a good way to practice things like that. Like press in and pull back a little bit just to give a little space. Also to let you see what happens when you fire on a target at close range. Because you see more than just a hole like you do at a longer distance. You see, you know, where... Um, the gas expansion has caused uh, a lot of little things on the target. It's just good to see that sort of thing, especially if you're on a farm and you can do it with melons and fleshy type targets, more so than paper. Um, but yes, I think I know what you're saying. If, I, if I'm very accurate at a long distance, am I going to be equally accurate or maybe even better so at a closer distance? Yes. But it can be beneficial to practice at close range also just for preparation for things that could happen outside your home. Uh, another thing to think about is in your home, even if you're very vigilant while you're awake, you also sleep. So thinking about what things could be like if by the time you knew there was an attacker, they were literally on you, okay? And it was dark and you were disoriented and all that sort of thing. So uh, great question. It's food for a lot of thought and it makes my mind go a million different directions of things that we could talk about. So comment down below if you have anything to offer on this topic and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.